You need to hear this if you're a homeowner worried about your mortgage. The thought of losing your home can be incredibly stressful and it's important to know that there are legal protections in place to help you navigate these tough times. Let's break down how Section 36 of the Administration of Justice Act 1970 can protect you. This section is specifically designed to offer a lifeline to homeowners who are struggling to keep up with their mortgage payments and are facing the threat of possession actions from their lenders. Section 36 of the Administration of Justice Act 1970 is here to help if you're struggling with your mortgage and facing possession actions from your lender. This section empowers the courts to intervene in a way that can provide you with the time and space you need to get back on track with your mortgage payments. Here's the lowdown. This section is divided into several subsections, each with its own specific provisions designed to offer different forms of relief to homeowners. Subsection 1 gives courts extra powers when lenders try to take possession of your home, but it's not a foreclosure. Instead, it allows the court to step in and assess the situation to determine if there are ways to resolve the issue without resorting to possession. The court steps in if they believe you can fix the issue or pay off the mortgage in a reasonable time. This means that if the court is convinced that you have a realistic plan to get your payments back on track, they can halt the possession proceedings to give you a chance to implement that plan. Subsection 2 is all about giving you breathing room. It recognizes that sometimes all you need is a bit of extra time to sort things out and it empowers the court to provide that time. The court can adjourn the case, meaning they hit pause. This can be incredibly valuable if you need time to gather the necessary funds or to negotiate a new payment plan with your lender. They can also suspend or postpone enforcement, delaying any judgments or orders. This means that any actions that the lender might take to enforce the possession order can be put on hold, giving you more time to address the underlying issues. They can also suspend or postpone enforcement, delaying any judgments or orders. This means that any actions that the lender might take to enforce the possession order can be put on hold, giving you more time to address the underlying issues. They can also suspend or postpone enforcement, delaying any judgments or orders. This means that any actions that the lender might take to enforce the possession order can be put on hold, giving you more time to address the underlying issues. They can also suspend or postpone enforcement, delaying any judgments or orders. This means that any actions that the lender might take to enforce the possession order can be put on hold, giving you more time to address the underlying issues. They can even postpone the possession date, giving you more time to sort things out. This can be particularly helpful if you need to sell the property or if you are expecting a change in your financial situation that will allow you to resume payments. Subsection 3 lets courts set conditions during these delays like making payments or addressing defaults. This means that while the court is giving you extra time, they can also set specific requirements that you need to meet in order to benefit from the delay. It's a way to keep things fair while you get back on track. The court's goal is to ensure that both you and the lender are treated fairly and that you have a genuine opportunity to resolve the situation without losing your home. Finally, subsection 4 allows the court to change or cancel these conditions as needed. This means that if your circumstances change, the court has the flexibility to adjust the conditions to better suit your new situation. Flexibility to fit your situation. This flexibility is crucial because it recognizes that life is unpredictable and what might work today might not be feasible tomorrow. So remember, Section 36 is designed to give you a fighting chance to keep your home. It's a powerful tool that can provide you with the time and space you need to get back on track with your mortgage payments and avoid the devastating consequences of losing your home. Don't let the legal jargon scare you. Know your rights and options. Thanks for watching. Understanding your rights under Section 36 can make a huge difference in how you handle mortgage difficulties. It's all about being informed and proactive. Hit that like button and subscribe for more simple legal breakdowns. Stay tuned for more videos that break down complex legal topics into easy to understand information that can help you navigate life's challenges.